Let's create this in Canva. Select a video template and let's go over to upload and start adding our images. We'll be adding 10 images according to the request we got. The lady said we should use 10 images. Now let's highlight all the images and go to position and align them to the center and to the middle. We'll scale down all the images Quickly, let's reduce the size of our page. Now let's come back to the images and click out. And select one of the images and place it to the left and select one to the right. Let's select all of it and space it horizontally. If you don't like how the images are lapping on each other, you will click out and spread it out a little bit, the, the ones at the ends a little bit, and select all of it again and space it evenly horizontally. I will continue to align until I get the look I'm looking for. So I will select all of it and space it horizontally and I make sure that it's aligned to the top, middle and to the bottom. Let's group the images. And begin to scale it out on our design page. We will scale out the image for it to fill the design page just like so. And let's position it. You see the first image is well positioned. And what we want to do is this, is to click out and go to click on the page and go to timing and increase the timing to 10 seconds. You can actually increase the timing to whatever seconds depending on how fast or how slow you want your image to move let's click on the image and go to animate we'll be using create an animation to make these images move and let's click on that we will need to scale down our design page so that we can have a complete view of all the images when we start applying the animation oops i forgot to add a shape to the images so that I can easily drag them when animating. Quickly let's click R on our keyboard to bring out the rectangle and let's place it and turn down the transparency to zero. Let's group it together with the images. Now let's go back to animate at the top of our screen and click on animate and go to create an animation and let's reduce our page further. And let's hold down the shift key on our keyboard and begin to drag the images across. I wasn't able to drag it to the end, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and reduce the page further. Then hold down the shift key on my keyboard and drag until I get to the last image. Yeah, I think it's better now. I'll go ahead and increase the page so you see what we've done so far. So let's increase this page again. Now let's play this to see how it looks. Let's go back into our animation to make this steady. Let's click on steady. Yeah, this is better. Let's reduce the speed so that it's flowing seamlessly. Yeah, this is far better. This is how to achieve the scrolling motion animation. 
so once you like everything you click on done one quick tip though is to make sure you set the duration of your page before applying the animation you set it to how long you want the images to scroll and also you can once you're done you can export your design and go to your video editor and trim out these white edges like you will see at the end of the video when i start displaying the final images i took it into CapCut and i trimmed out the edges of the part, the white parts and it was looking so beautiful now let's export our file So I went back in and increased my page timing to 22 seconds and we did the animation. I want to turn this to a portrait TikTok video. Let's use the magic switch feature and go to video. We can as well do this from the beginning of our design by choosing a portrait video template or mobile video template or TikTok video template. So here we will switch in only the first page which is the one with the 22 seconds. You can also follow the same process we used in creating that for the landscape. Now we'll switch this to a portrait video. What we'll do here is just to scale out the images of which you can remove the backgrounds of these images or crop them. And align them to be closer to each other depending on whatsoever you choose you can do anything you want overlap the images themselves the animation is still applied to it let's go over to position and position this to the middle let's play it you see it's the same thing you can decide to remove the background and bring the images closer depending on what your images look like so this is the one we used for the landscape i'm doing this specifically for the request i got to make this video so jira i hope you follow through with this tutorial i'm making this extra effort for you let's take one more step further to add text to our design we'll be using type extrude then we'll change this today to black beauty now we'll go ahead and change the fonts. 